Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the tech news of the day. Before we get started, hit the like button or dislike button and click the share button as well. If you don't need to share it with anyone, just click that share button and come back. It really helps the channel a lot. Now with that said, here's the news. YouTube has finally released Playables for everyone. Now Playables is where you can actually play small games on YouTube itself without leaving YouTube app. YouTube has started testing it in November last year. But even now, when it's finally officially launched, it's still not available in India, not even for the premium subscribers. Anyway, it will be coming pretty slowly. So right now they have like 75 free to play games directly on YouTube. If you're in US, probably you can check it out. Poco F6 is finally on sale starting today. So if you're looking to buy the best phone under 30,000 rupees, you might want to check it out. Telegram, which is an instant messaging application, just like WhatsApp has collaborated with Microsoft to bring in Copilot, which is a chatbot directly to Telegram. So if you're using Telegram, you can try out Microsoft Copilot directly from your Telegram application. There are two ways to start using this Copilot. You can just search for Microsoft Copilot Telegram link on Google and you'll get the link or else you can directly search for Copilot on Telegram and you might even find it. There are a lot of fakes when you search for Copilot on Telegram. So do keep in mind. Nothing has finally launched a brand new colored Nothing Phone 2A. Now, I really expected Nothing to launch three phones or at least two phones with different colors like red, yellow or light blue. But they just launched a single phone with all colors. And this is how it looks. It looks pretty fancy, but way out of my expectations. In India, it's priced at 28,000 rupees. I guess that's after the discount. They're calling it the special edition. But if you're already spending like 28,000, better consider Poco F6 or the Realme GT60. They are much better choices. And if you really want a nothing phone, then maybe you can consider nothing as well. There are some rumors about the upcoming Oppo Pad 3, which is going to be launched in China. So why am I talking? Because most probably it will be rebranded as a OnePlus Pad in India. So these are the leaked specifications. It will come with a 12.1 inch display with 144 Hertz screen refresh rate. And the most interesting thing is the processor. It might come with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor with 16 GB RAM and 512 GB storage. Now, if it is launched, it should be around 30. No, it should be somewhere around 40 to 45,000 rupees, which is quite premium. WhatsApp is back with another new update, but this time it's themes. Usually we just have green bubbles, but now we can change it to different colors. So these are the colors. They are still testing it out. They'll be out officially in 10 to 15 days. By the way, just so you know, we can actually change the chat background of your private chats and group chats if you're interested. Like if you want to really customize it, you can. There's news about the upcoming Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 processor, which is going to be launched somewhere in the end of the year. And it seems that it's super powerful as expected. And it's also super power hungry. So it seems the upcoming flagship phones, which are going to be launched by the end of the year and next year, like IQ 13, Oppo Find X8, OnePlus 13, and so on, will come with a 6,000 mAh battery. And they're also going to use the high density silicon anode batteries, which have more capacity at similar sizes. So you can probably expect better battery life or more performance next year. Now that's all the interesting news I have for today. Now for some deals, I found this mouse to be really good. It's priced at 348, but you can also apply this 40% coupon and get it at a very cheap price. Get it if you're interested. And have you ever heard of the brand Realme Tech Life? Like I heard this brand name Realme Tech Life like a year ago or so, and I forgot completely. And today I found Realme Tech Life washing machines. I thought it was a fake brand or something, but then I searched for it and it's a sub brand of Realme. I went to Realme website and I didn't find anything related to Realme Tech Life. So just in case if you ever come across Realme Tech Life, don't think it's a fake brand. It comes under Realme, but Realme doesn't seem to care a lot about it. So guys, that's the end of the video. If you like it, hit the like button. If you don't, hit the dislike button and bash me in the comments. I really appreciate that. And with that said, see you next time.